hello. All right, so today I got all this stuff uh, from this website that I like to shop on. Uh, it's called Shop Missing. Um, it's, I, I feel like my, obviously I don't have a big enough following that I really need to say this, um, but just in case this is not sponsored, I don't, <laughs> I don't really need to say that. You guys know, all four of you who are watching. It looks suspicious because all of this is from that one site, but I just really like it. They got a bunch of stuff. It's kind of like an online dollar store, um, but their stuff is like better quality in my opinion. Um, like my eyeshadows from there. Uh, I just have a lot of random stuff from them, but they came out with this like candle making stuff and I just bought a bunch and now we're going to use it. So let's talk about what we need. Um, so obviously you don't have to get the stuff from this brand, um, but most of the stuff came from that website, save for like the essential oils and a couple of containers. But so from that website, I've got two packages of the soy wax flakes. I think we're only gonna need to use one, uh, but I got two. I got these candle dye blocks. These are definitely optional. They just looked like fun, so I got them. This is a candle making kit, it's called, but it just has the stirring sticks and the wick holders. And then some wicks. So each of these things that I bought was a dollar and looks like with the supplies we can make like five candles. So it works out to be like about a dollar a candle. I don't know. Well, I should say, other than like the stuff that I already had. So that's the stuff that I bought from the website. Oh, I also bought this jar. You don't need to, because I'm also gonna use this that I already had. Um, but if you don't have anything to put a candle in, they got jars on there too. I just bought this because it was, I mean, it looked cute. And then I've got two different essential oils because I've got two different candles here. Um, so for my purpley dyed candle, I'm gonna do some lavender oil. I already have this. And for this sort of leafy one, uh, that's not gonna be dyed. I've got this stress relief blend. Also, you need a pot and we need a measuring cup glass thing. It's important, I think, I don't know, I've never done this before, but I think it's important that it has a handle and that it has a spout. So, let's get started. Ooh, that was aggressive. That was really aggressive. All right, so the directions say to bring like two inches of water to a boil. Now I'm not gonna get a ruler and measure the water because that's ridiculous. So I just have like a little bit of water in there, about that much, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna boil it. While the water is boiling, I am gonna get my wicks ready. Um, so first I'm gonna take one of these sticky tabs and I'm gonna put it at the end of this guy here. I probably should have put it in the middle, but whatever. And then I'm gonna peel the other side up. And I'm gonna try to get this as much in the center of this as possible. You know how I am, it's not gonna be very center. And I'm, that was pretty center. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this guy. And then I'm gonna take these things and I'm gonna put the thing through the middle and rest it on the thing. That one doesn't have a hole. I know that I'm going to spill because I know myself, so I'm gonna put some newspaper down here. All right, and the water is not quite at a boil yet, but I'm impatient, so here we go. I've got like roughly, so I'm just starting with the, uh, you, no, the stress relief one. So I've got like, I don't know, like a half of a cup of wax in here and I guess I'm just gonna plop it in. I should be wearing an oven mitt, I think, or something. No, I'm fine. Oh my God. Why is it, why is it, why is it rumbling? All right, now my wax is all melted, so I'm gonna add some essential oils. There was no guide as to how many drops to add, so I'm just gonna go for it. That seems like a lot.
but I thought that I'd just really briefly talk about my plan for this uh, lavender candle. Uh, it'll probably not work, but I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. So my plan is I'm gonna do like not dyed wax and pour that in first, but not all the way. And then I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna dye the wax purple and I'm hoping that that will do like a swirly thing inside of the container, but it probably won't. And then I think we're supposed to wait like a whole day before we can like trim the wicks and use the candles. I'll see you later. So it's actually like an entire week later. Uh, and I have the one candle's been burning, the lavender one, the purple one. It turned into this like cloudy, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, but it's been burning for like, I think an hour and a half. And it's filling up the living room pretty okay. It's not the strongest smell in the world, but it's not bad. And this is the other one. This is kind of cute. It's like, it'd make like a cute little gift, I think, this lemongrass one. This one smells good. I mean, the other one smells okay, but I'm partial to lemongrass. Huh. Overall, I think I would, definitely use that stuff again to make it like I said it makes a little like a cute little gift if you put it in this cute little jar give it to your mom or your brother I don't know but yeah that's about it I would call this not a fail if you like this video like this video give it a thumbs up if you really liked it you'd like to see more of me and, and stuff like this uh, subscribe and then there'll be more of that um uh, but yeah that's um all so yeah have a good uh, whatever you're having <laughs>